Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and today I'm looking at the NECA Prometheus Series 2 David. Now, David is an android, and the actual model is the David 8, and he is portrayed by Michael Fassbender in the film Prometheus, released in 2012. Now, when it comes to Prometheus, I'm one of the few that like it, I thought it was interesting. But anywho, getting back to the David, I really enjoy this character, it's one of the best parts of Prometheus, and I cannot wait to see what happens to him or what he does in Covenant. So for the height of this figure, it's a little over 7 inches without his helmet. And the helmet's really cool, it's like that egg-shaped one from the film. And we'll be taking a look at that later. Now he does come, again, with the helmet. He comes with a head, which this one looks better than this, and I'll get to that in the future. And he comes with a little, uh, I like to call it... Uh, a case, like a briefcase, but it's very thin. It comes with a little flashlight there. Pretty interesting. So I have a lot to talk about. He has a great sculpt, great paint, bizarre articulation that I want to take a look at, some neat accessories. We'll compare them, and then we'll be done for today. So let's get moving. Okay, before I start looking at the main sculpt on the body, I do have to talk about the head. Now, I don't know what the issue is, but... This head sculpt right here with the hair does not really look like Michael Fassbender to me. I don't know what it is, maybe the eyebrows or the paint in general. Uh, the sculpt, the sculpt does look like him, it's just something's, something's not right. Now, I really prefer the extra head that comes as an accessory. As you can see here, it looks much more like Michael Fassbender. And I prefer this one, this is beautiful. This, I don't know what went wrong, but it does have some nice paint regardless. We have a nice skin tone, brown eyebrows, for the eyes it's white, blue, and black. The lips are pink, the hair is a light brown with that blonde yellow over everything to show all the details. Like the ears are done pretty good, the hair is nice, just something's not right. And maybe it's mine, if you guys have one that looks different, let me know in the comments below. One more thing I want to point out before I get to the main body here is this little thing here is a camera and I just want to say how detailed it is for being so small and this can detach and it plugs into the helmet which we'll look at later but very cool I do like this thing very much and it does have a little articulation it does go up and down which is a plus. Now for the main body there are tons of lines and folds and wrinkles and we can see some of the wrinkles right here in the armpits. There are some little indentations on the stomach. Wrinkles right here for the elbows. Just amazing stuff. But where most of the detail lies is in this uh, chest piece here. These pads that protect the main muscles. And so on. The spacesuit is really a work of art. Now, I prefer the big puffy ones from the original Alien. And uh, at first I was like, why'd they go with a spacesuit like this? And it occurred to me that in Alien they were basically truck drivers in space. These guys were a super expensive trip with top of the line equipment. So, yeah, I guess that works. <laughs> but anywho, we have some nice lines in here. Look at these great details right here on the collar. We have some white, silver, pale yellow more silver, silver dry brush, and the armor itself is like a dark gray, I guess you could say, maybe like a dark, 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 dark gunmetal, sort of like brownish tint to it, but I like it, it's pretty cool, lots of great details in all this armor here. Now one thing I want to say is these decals are amazing, the first one has a wind being with a planet with a rim around it. Now right here we have some winds down here, and my favorite decal is the Prometheus head right there. Really cool, and it actually does say Prometheus. Need a magnifying glass, but there's there, more wrinkles. Coming around, the arms are actually done pretty well too. And I love the gloves, nice paint on them as well. Now I do like the other arm as well, because it has a little computer here. But the hands are basically the same, give or take a couple differences in the mold coming on the back 
I really do enjoy these elbow pads. They look like puffy jacket pieces here. That's the same on the knees. We'll see that in a bit. And look at the back. Nice wrinkles. And that black wash that's all over here is just sticking to all these nooks and crannies and making some great detail pop. And speaking of detail, right here on the backpack, we have some great detail that's brought to life by this nice silver dry brush. Silver buckle there, some red. Red right there. Speaking of red, we have more on this side. Forgot to mention it with some yellow. Another silver buckle right there. Amazing. And how could I forget the whaling corp symbol? No Utani yet. <laughs> and more nice lines up here. And this camera cord gets in the way. This is a rubbery plastic. It's bendable. Uh, it doesn't keep its shape, but it plugs back here right in the butt. And next to that butt, we have a flashlight. Now, mine is not removable. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it is made out of bendable material. So it's not too bad and doesn't really hinder the articulation much. Oh, and there's a red spot right there. But the belt's pretty good too. We have some silver on there with some nice details. And in the front, there's also red on that belt. Some details on the stomach here. We have the crotch and, oh my god, these joints. I don't know what they're called, but I dislike them. Some great details here on these thigh armor pieces. Coming down to the knees, the puffy jacket piece. Nice detail. I love the lines on this. Very cool. Nice boots. Now I mentioned there is a black wash on this thing, but the boots have a brown wash. And that's a nice attention to detail, because in the film, you know, after the sandstorm and all that, the sand was an orangey color, and the dirt in general, so that's really neat. And on the bottom of those shoes, we could see some copyright crap and peg holes. Looking on the back of the figure, we could see more detail, more little folds and wrinkles built right into the joints, very nice. Amazing, we have some yellow and blue there. And I like the color of the spacesuit. It's a nice blue. And then it has a, I want to say a brighter blue for all these vein pieces that are going down here. And on the arms and on the legs and so on. Very nice. It stands out. And I cannot wait for NECA to release the, uh, the Lost set with Dr. Shaw and Vickers. Oh boy, Vickers. So anywho, that does it for the paint and the sculpt. So now, let's take a look at the articulation. Alright, for the articulation, this is not a ball joint, but however, a peg goes up, and it works the same way. You can get the head in some nice positions. It can spin. It is hindered by the back of the helmet here, and the camera just came off, but that's okay. Now, the arms can go that far up, which is pretty good. Now, they can also spin all the way around. And here's one of the weird parts. The elbow is in backwards. So where it would normally turn, now it turns right here instead of being this way. It's bizarre. You have to have it in hand to know what I'm talking about. But this section here would usually be here. So everything's reversed. Now the only movement you're getting out of this is a rotation. And that's it. Now it also rotates here at the little control panel, like so. And then we have a ball joint hand which can go in and out, left and right, and spin all the way around. Now that is the same for this side. Now for the chest and waist, there are two ball joints. And they can go back pretty far and go forward a little bit like he's looking down. Now he can rotate all the way around. Uh, this one's a little tight, and I don't want to break it, so I ain't forcing it. Now, these joints here, I don't know what they're called. I, I think it's a T-joint. I may be mistaken. I'm not too good with that. I usually stick to the ball hinges and ball joints and stuff like that, or swivels. Uh, these feel like they're going to break. I'm not even going to mess with them. But the way these work is the... Yeah, see, it's already creaking. These legs would separate and go up and down about that much. Uh, I ain't messing with that, but they can go that far forward, which is nice, and that far back. We have a thigh cut, and it can rotate. This 
thigh uh, armor piece hinders it. And then we have double jointed knees, which is always a plus. Now there is no rotation here, but the boot is on a ball joint, so it can go up and down, left and right, and spin all the way around. And that does it for the articulation. Now, on the whole, I don't like it. Uh, I hate these joints. I dislike the elbows because they're backwards. Uh, I don't know. Luckily, I don't play with these. Usually, I'll put them in a pose and then stick them in the glass case, and there they will stay. But uh, the plus side is the figure does look good. So now that I'm done with that articulation, let's take a look at the accessories. We'll compare it to something else, and then we'll be done. So let's move on to that. For the accessories, the first one up is the alternate David head. And I like this one a lot. I think it looks more like Fassbender than the other head does. The details are great. Like right there, that looks just like David wearing the hat. Fantastic sculpt on here. Now, no ball joint. It has a peg, so I can't put my pen up there to hold it just so you see the head. So my fingers have to be in it. And great detail on this little hat he wears, too. Very nice. And that hat is like a brown color with a black wash on it. We can see a little yellow, gold, and black on there. Very interesting. Of course, we have the Whalen symbol with David, yellow and black right there. And for the face, you know, it's what we come to expect. We got this nice skin tone, pink for the lips, and then brown for the eyebrows, and then for the eyes themselves, we have white, blue, and black. Very nice job. Pretty damn good. Now to put this on the head, you just take the head like so, pop it right off, and again, it doesn't have a ball joint, it has that peg, so it just snaps in, and you're good to go. For the second accessory, we have the helmet, and I like this thing, very futuristic, very uh, slim, I guess is a word you could say, it's not big and bulbous, like the original spacesuits, and it's mostly this translucent plastic. But there is some good paint on here. It's got some dark gray, silver, gold, white, and even black. And on the inside we have all that in there. Very nice. And up here we have this little tiny port right there where my thumb is. And the camera actually connects in there, which is nice. Pretty detailed and I like that. Now to put this helmet on, it connects on like so. It has a couple of these little teeth. You just line them up and it goes right in. And you could take the camera and put it on the top of the helmet like so. And I like how that looks. Very accurate to the film. Really neat. The final accessory David comes with is this case. Now it doesn't open, but it's got some nice uh, lines on here. We have his little flashlight right there. Very neat, very interesting. Little seam line there, but not a big deal. Pretty cool. Now the color for this, I wanted to say it's just black and white. However, this side here and this side is more of a, I would say a, a off-white into a light gray. Now that might be just because it's a thin coat of white. Uh, right here you could just see the black right through it. So, I don't know, I might just say it's all white. But, just put a little asterisk. These sides might be light gray. And then we have white on the side, white for the flashlight. And white for these little lines here. Very cool. And the case does fit in David's hand. Just slide it in like so. And you're good to go. To compare with David, I have him next to another Prometheus Series 2 figure. The Deacon. Now these are to scale, and take a moment to think about this, this thing's a baby. And just look at the size of this, and its legs are bent compared to an average human being. Very interesting, great figures. NECA did the detail with these, and it is out of the park great. Very awesome. The only problem is, they share the similar bizarre articulation. But it is what it is. Uh, I don't play with them. But my god they look great on a shelf. So that does it for my review today of the NECA Prometheus Series 2 David. I love David. 
Great character. Michael Fosbender does a great job with him. Can't wait until Covenant to see what David's up to. I'm sure it's bad, whatever it is. But Prometheus, like I mentioned, it was hit and miss. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. And I can't wait to see the next chapter. I'm super excited. Probably see it this weekend. Now, what are the pros of this figure? Now, as we have come to see, NECA makes great figures. And this is no exception. The sculpt is amazing. Minus that head. And the paint, spot on. Perfect. From the decals, to the suit, to the washes. It's excellent. Also, the accessories are really nice too. The alternate head, I'm in love with it. It's very cool. You got the helmet and that little briefcase thin that he walks around with when he's examining the black goo capsules. So having said that, what are the cons? Obviously, the biggest con is the joints. These joints suck. I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, they're the same on a couple other figures. Everything's butt backwards. I don't know what they were thinking with these arms. And uh, this joint here, oh my god, stinks. And that's the only negative thing about it, really. So if you're looking to buy this, I have done some research on this one. I went on Amazon, and you're looking at 49 to $60 and up for this figure. Uh, I went to eBay and searched around for a couple of minutes on there. And the prices vary, but several are in the high 70s. So if you're looking to get this, shop around. Christ, um, maybe I would pay 30 something for it. But anything over that, I don't know. Like if you're a big fan of Fastbender or the David character, then go for it. You know, it's up to you. But I don't know, 70 something dollars is kind of steep for me. But having said that, that is all I have to say about this figure. I recommend this guy for fans of Prometheus, for Alien Covenant. Or if you're a fan of the Alien franchise as a whole, David goes great with the collection. So that's all I have to say about this figure today. If you enjoyed my review, please hit that like button. And if you would like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.